Hey everybody, and welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. You heard of this game? Oh, really? I was I usually have a preamble there, and the preamble goes, Well, we're gonna do a random run, because I forgot what uh, character we played as last time, and then we're playing as Samson. My brain space seems to be reminding me that we've had some good runs recently. I think we've had a couple of losses, or like maybe only one loss, actually. Um, and we're trying to recreate another streak. Is that the case? I feel like I'm on, like I'm Miss Cleo, or, or crossing over with John Edwards right now, or Long Island Medium. I'm actually more of like a Long Island Large, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that was gross. Let's see what we got going on in here. Game Kid is, you know, palatable. I guess it's there are worse items, I suppose. Like literally, we had a worse item because we had zero uh, spacebar item. So that's not going to do, do too much for us at all, but what this is, and I've placed a lot of value on this recently, is kind of a get out of jail free card when it comes to hopefully earning that first deal with the devil. So, as a result of grabbing this game kid, now it's not impossible, but pretty unlikely that I end up taking damage on our uh, second boss fight, which means it's pretty likely, especially if I manage to keep this spirit heart up till that point. No, okay, that was close. Uh, it means it's pretty likely that I will end up... Uh, getting a deal with the devil, which means it's pretty likely, assuming I have HP, that I can actually pick up an item that'll help me out a great deal. So, it's remarkable to me how much of the, uh, you know, first, or how much of your success overall in this game depends on how your first floors go. Not always, you know, it, it kind of seems to run counter to my logic of, uh, well, you know, just survive long enough for the game to give you something good. But, I really do believe that, that if you get set off on the right foot, your odds of winning go up uh, drastically because you don't get whittled down, you know, you stay in good spirits, you, you don't lose a lot of spirit hearts if you got them. To be honest with you, I really like the coat hanger, but this isn't really the time for it. I kind of need HP more than anything else, but it's okay. We got some time. So Book of Shadows is, uh, it's a very similar function to the Game Kid with some positives and negatives associated with it. The positive of Book of Shadows is that it lasts for fucking ever. It lasts forever. It's like the longest effect uh, on a spacebar item that isn't like a single room, like full room charge, I think. Um, the downside is that you don't actually gain HP back for using it. That's not really that big of a deal though. I should have looked for the second secret room along with that, but those spirit hearts are gonna protect me here. I'm gonna take the pill right away because it could be an HP upgrade. It's a tears upgrade, that's also amazing. But yeah, Book of Shadows is, uh, overall I like it a lot better. You you lose the... Oh, that was really scary. And we found the secret room anyway. You lose the uh, offensive value of uh, the Game Kid. Three cents. It's kind of, you know... Considering where the secret room is located and the fact that I would never look there, I hope that it would be a little bit more of a treasure trove. But yeah, okay, long story short, Book of Shadows is better. Even though it lacks the offensive ability of uh, Game Kid and it doesn't give you HP back, it uh, has such a much larger uh, duration that uh, it's impossible to ignore. Really useful for things like uh, blood banks, for example, boss fights, and etc, uh, etc. Et Even curse rooms if you had to. So Bloody Penny is awesome for when we actually end up coming across some arcades. And if we could actually get like a nun's habit or something, we could pretty much play blood banks forever, get unlimited money, and uh, basically as many uh, blood bags as the game could possibly pay out with. Anyway. We're gonna fight our boss. This is a big moment of truth. I'm really hoping we snag at least some HP here. we we'll be fighting against the Widow. So, of course, we're just gonna quickly pop um, Book of Shadows. And it really does last for a remarkably long time. We're already about halfway through. A little bit more than halfway. Closer to actually the whole way through. Um, and uh, it, it only recently wore off. There we go. So now we just gotta not take damage over the rest of the fight, and our deal with the devil chances should be quite strong. We're one-shotting the spiders, which makes my chances very good. There we go. We got the eight ball and... <laughs> well, let's hope nine lives is in here. Let's put it that way. Do I really want to give up three spirit hearts for Guppy's tail? The answer to that question is no, but I will, just in case we have the chance to become Guppy. And um, I'll, I'll definitely go to the curse room as well, even though it scares the shit out of me to go down to one red heart. That's not really what I was hoping for. Uh, yeah, we're, I mean, we're fine. I think I will take the shot speed upgrade, to be honest with you. Even though a lot of people will be mad at me for it, the tarot card could end up being super useful. It's pretty good. I, I, I feel relatively satisfied with it, at least. 
But we're obviously in a terrible position, and it's kind of not really due to too much fault of my own. Admittedly, I could avoid or could have avoided taking Guppy's tail, but I wanted to give myself, you know, some kind of offensive out, if that makes sense. Man, such terrible uh, spacebar items here. We're gonna come back there, of course. Because the more money we get, the more red hearts we get, the more red hearts we get, the better our chances of survival will be, as long as we don't take one full damage on a room. Thought maybe that would be the secret room. Um, but yeah, I, I really wanted to take Guppy's tail. I, I think that's not necessarily a very controversial choice, either. But, uh, all of our spacebar items, or sorry, all of our item rooms so far have paid out with spacebar items. We do have two tiers upgrades, but apart from that, we're in a pretty inenviable position. I, uh, don't really like our chances of success very much at all. Remember how I mentioned, uh, how important it is to get off to a good start? Well, this is the exact opposite of a good start. Shot speed upgrade, tiers upgrade, uh, no HP. Luckily, you know, we are losing money here, but we can get red hearts out of it. Well, never mind, but at least we didn't lose any more spirit hearts. So, with zero keys, we're not really looking to go to the shop on this floor as much as I would like to. I would like to... Oh, man, this is actually kind of scary. I know we have Book of Shadows, but I really don't want to use it until the, the mood strikes me, you know? Kill one. Thank you. And then just stay away. These things never drop pennies, do they? Um, we can go back and get some red hearts from our item room. This is not necessarily the worst luck we've ever had on a, a run in the Binding of Isaac, but it's it's pretty terrible. And this is the perfect situation to have a, uh, a re-roll in. We could have re-rolled. We probably wouldn't... Here's how it would have gone. We would have picked up Game Kid because we're Samson. We would have re-rolled... Uh, we would have picked up Book of Shadows on the next floor. Then re-rolled uh, the game kit that we took with us. Who knows what we would have got. I'm going to say, conservatively, that definitely would have been Polyphemus. So now we have Polyphemus, and then we re-roll Doctor's Remote, and that's, um, you know, Quad Shot. So now we have Polyphemus Quad Shot, and uh, probably just large shows up at some point anyway, and there you go. You got uh, enough HP and enough damage to win the game. 100% scientific analysis right there. So, Red Hearts would be nice. Yeah, sure. Uh, two of them's good. We are going to be fighting against... Peep, and I believe that we don't need to use, uh, or that we, we have no need to worry about taking one full damage in, in one hit. So what I'm going to do is avoid using Book of Shadows until basically the last possible moment. If we get Peep down to like 40%, 50% of uh, its overall health, that's when I'll start using it. Because that's when things become the direst. That's when both eyeballs are going to be on the screen. Um, and then we'll be able to maybe coast to victory. And I'm really, at this point, just hoping to induce uh, deals with the devil. And if those deals with the devil pay out with nine lives, that's a straight upgrade for me in, in many, many ways. I get a little bit closer to actually becoming Guppy. Alright, let's pop it. I get a little bit closer to actually becoming Guppy, of course. But then beyond that, uh, I also uh, just get nine one-ups, basically. Which is a pretty sweet payout. So, this is the problem with, um, with this fight when you're... Samson, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, I basically have no way to build rage, so I'm stuck with my base damage ad infinitum, and that's fucking horrible. But if we can just not get hit... Hey! Okay, well, we got the crate, which I don't probably don't need to remind you, but the crate is still not an HP upgrade, in case you didn't notice. Uh, let's take the pill. Bombs are key. I, I can live with that, especially since we left our bomb to pick up there, and we got another justice card here. Oh, we might... Strangely... Get enough money? What is this? That's the Emperor card. If we find the secret room, we might get enough money to make this shop worthwhile. And as much as I would love to <clears throat> spawn an arcade on the next floor, I have to try to get the shop to, to happen. There's so many items that could really, really benefit me. I've got to just blow this up, basically. Please give me three cents. Do you think that's real fucking funny, don't you? Uh, well, now that we have so many keys, we can actually actually go down here and open up this golden chest, and that should presumably, or could presumably, give me another penny. Wouldn't be the strangest occurrence of all time. Oh my god. Well, okay, we are going to sacrifice one spirit heart to go to the curse room. This is real comical. I don't know where we go from here. Um... Admittedly, there's not very many second secret room locations. I might want to use my bombs to look for those. Let's try here. Okay. 
there's only two more and we only have two bombs so I mean it should line up if there's an eternal heart or any semblance of money it would be so helpful to me I'll probably end up using a key to check the shop anyway just in case there's something for sale like a seven cent item there we go second secret room oh my god please work with me one penny barely we did it but barely now I have no rerolls I could have done all this for notched axe let's hope that's not the case though I have a feeling that maybe uh, someone up there just doesn't like me right now maybe in a past life I did something that uh, the game didn't think too fondly of because good god that is uh, not an ideal situation but admittedly kind of a comical one so we're three floors deep no HP 17 cents three keys so you know shops are still viable item rooms what space bar item do we get this time well demon baby should probably wait to pick it up to the end of the floor but whatever we can use all the help we can get here demon baby is our first passive item from an item room which is a, a milestone puts us ooh, briefly on life support in a good way we're on catacombs 2 which is bad I mean we, we just got back from the catacombs 1 so you'd think like hey I've already got that like you know equilibrium set for that right like we're in homeostasis right now or something not quite though not quite uh, I would much rather be on the caves I should really use book of shadows more often it, the other advantage that it has over game kit is it charges much faster twice as fast I think um, but yeah I, I hate being on this floor I really thought I could make that uh, because the enemies or there are many enemies at least that deal one full heart of damage oh my god I'm gonna get out of here without getting hit uh, again which is great because I wanted to save this book of shadows for the boss fight all right who are we going up against hopefully an enemy that spawns a lot of enemies yeah that'll do it okay so we're just gonna immediately uh, pop this spawn some spawn some flies or something you jerkwad you're being a real jerkwad right now it's the champion version okay eight oh god um no I took red heart damage but it was at the end the boss was dead it shouldn't count deal with the devil oh no deal with the devil you'd think I'd be you know singing to the heavens that we got some HP but really I, I need that nine lives deal with the devil and the guppy's tail pickup is not gonna be what damns me on this run there are some runs where bad decisions damn me there's some runs where bad play damns me right now and you know you may disagree but I, I welcome your your treatise as to why right now it's it's just RNG man there are maybe some things I could I could do to induce higher deal with the devil chances but the item rooms have been um, worse than usual by a large degree all right so now that we have more HP it actually does make bloody penny a little bit more useful uh, it makes our survival chances a little bit higher I mean it might double our survival chances that might sound like a lot but maybe we went from like a 5% chance of victory to a 10% chance of victory that's not necessarily the most confidence inducing um, series of numbers there 30 cents is wonderful I'm still really hoping that we find a an arcade and we, we should have the possibility I don't even know when to use book of shadows now in this situation I guess when we get down to one heart if there's enemies that can kill us in one hit um, which there were on this room but we're at one and a half hearts and we can easily get back to full health um, what else do we have all right so there's a boss trap room let's be honest we don't need an arcade to make that boss trap room work for us we can just take damage but I would like there to be an arcade the ideal outcome is that there would be an arcade somewhere man that is some real money right there okay this is a room where you be careful I don't think Larry Jr. does one full heart, but it's something to keep an eye on at least. How have I done so little damage? There we go. It's because the health bar is based on each individual section of the conga line, apparently. All right. So our damage is actually okay now. Seriously? I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. Probably a way to take damage or at least get... Um, uh, I should probably keep one of those fires alive, huh? If I go to the curse room, I won't die. I'll come pretty close though uh, uh, I don't want to pick that up yet I know this sounds stupid no wait this is perfect I can pick this up now yeah this is fine do I really want to open that golden chest I, I really don't 
because I want to keep myself alive for the next room. But this is exactly as much HP as we needed to lose to get in here. Now we have a Spirit Heart backing as well. Okay. Alright. Everything's starting to come together a little bit. And I mean a little bit. Like a very, very little bit. We now have Isaac starting HP. And a slight tears upgrade. And admittedly one of the better familiars. Four floors into the game. Uh, but this is hard mode right now. All I can say is thank God we weren't at least fucking Eve. That would be... Uh, probably a death sentence by this point, in my opinion. And we do still have some upswing, you know, if we can get another deal with the devil, we could get closer to becoming Guppy, or maybe even cross the bridge to become Guppy. We have a ton of money, but that doesn't matter because we never are able to use it. I guess we get one heart back and then just leave this floor. Okay. Really surprised there's no arcade. I could even use the speed upgrade, to be honest with you. If you're wondering why I sound a little uh, more baritone than usual today, uh, I haven't had my coffee yet. Usually that perks me up a little bit. You know, I, I, if I quit caffeine for probably like the first two weeks, I would just sound like I was trying to imitate James Earl Jones in the worst possible way. But then I can come up a little bit after I have a little bit of coffee and it feels good. That was an artificial caffeine boost there. Pretty good temperature. Alright, depths one. Maybe somebody up there actually does like me because we're not on... The difficult uh, variant of the floor, for once. I don't even want to talk about the things that we're missing. Instead, let's let's have Thanksgiving. I am thankful that we tripled our HP on that last floor. I am thankful that we have a good rate of fire. I am thankful that we do have probably one of the upper one-third or one-quarter space bar items in the game. It's a good space bar item. I can't deny it as much as I'd like to. I'm thankful that if I get Skeleton Key or a Golden Key, I'll be able to open 100,000 chests on this floor. And I'll be really fucking thankful when we get 9 li- Oh, I don't even want 9 lives that badly anymore, but I'd still probably take it. 9 lives always puts you in this Catch-22, where you don't want to pick up HP, but if you don't pick it up, and then you don't get 9 lives, you lost. So, you gotta pick it up, but sometimes uh, the game takes pleasure in making you pay for that pickup. Come on, one golden key on this floor could turn it all around. So I'm thinking that uh, because we don't have a D6, we're under no like time constraints for for when to go to these special rooms. So I'm thinking we use our key to go to the shop. With 41 cents, there's just so much possibility for that shop to A, have a good item, B, uh, you know, have a key itself that I can benefit from, and, you know, even have other consumables that, that could be valued for me. Pills, tarot cards, etc., etc. I am thankful for the Emperor card. This is a card that is very beneficial, especially the longer that we keep it. And I didn't mention this yet, very much at least. I'm thankful for Bloody Penny. One of my favorite trinkets in the game, uh, prior to getting to the womb at least. And if you can just find some arcades, which we, you know, we're only going to find one on this entire run, but it can almost guarantee you uh, at least a payout. Not necessarily a blood bag, because it could be IV bag, but it, it has its heart in the right place. There's no way I'm not buying the, the ladder at this point. I, pi I did pick up the strength card. Do I feel great about it? No. I didn't know it was a strength card. I didn't know what it was. I just figured we'd take it. I'm going to use it on this room because I don't feel confident anymore. So I did buy the ladder. Why buy the ladder, you ask? No D6, basically. Mom's Pearl is, is better than Bloody Penny, unfortunately. As much as I just sung its praises. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, I suppose. We're going to pick this back up. Emperor card is way more valuable to us. Um, yeah, you know, we, we just keep not getting the greatest rolls, not literal rolls like via the, via the D20 or the D6, but, um, like, every time we have the chance to put ourselves in the faith of, or put our faith in the hands of RNG, doesn't seem to work out too well for us. The latter is an item that will benefit us, but let's be honest, not very much. I know people say, like, hey, don't buy the ladder, save your money for something else, but it should be pretty mathematically clear at this point that unless we come across, like, four judgments over the course of the rest of the game, we're not going to really have any other means with which to spend our money, so we might as well pick up something that can at least benefit us a little bit, I think. Yeah, I knew I was going to take damage there. In spite, of, uh, in spite of the amount that I've played this game, my brain still has a little bit of trouble wrapping its head around the... Uh, the behavior of those leapers sometimes. In the moment, at least. Keys, please. Okay, well, the spirit heart is nice, I'll admit. 
And we could earn a deal with the devil on this floor. It's actually kind of like the crux of my strategy. If we don't earn a deal with the devil on this floor, we're going to find ourselves in a real bad way. Oh, yeah, that was not good. That's okay. There's a key! We did it. Okay. Fight the boss. It's Gish. Well, it's no HP, but, you know, I like Gish well enough. I was really... Probably a little bit premature with my use of Book of Shadows here, but it is... Even when you use Book of Shadows poorly, for most bosses, it still ends up being a huge help, so... I'm happy with it. And now, like, I used, um... Book of Shadows to give us a little bit of a, you know, defensive bonus when we weren't doing very much damage. Now we're doing a lot of damage as a result of the fact that, um, you know, Rage is actually building up. A lot of damage might be kind of a optimistic way to put it. But we're doing more damage and uh, maybe that was the right way to use Book of Shadows after all. I don't know. Gish is dead. We did earn a deal with the devil. All the guppy items. I'll take them. I'll take them. Alright, well this is... I mean... Krampus is always a, a bit of a double-edged sword, because Lump of Coal is good, and it's technically free if you don't die on this fight, but it's not as good as some of the other items that you can get from a deal with the devil, so it's always a little bit of like a, yay, Krampus, right? It's like, yay, vitamins or something like that if you're a kid. You don't want to take vitamins, but you know that they'll help you, and, you know, it's a privilege, so it's, you, you do sometimes. Careful. Um... So yeah, I'm psyched to have Lump of Coal, but I did pick up that shot speed upgrade earlier that'll make Lump of Coal's effects worse. That being said, it is a free item, so I'm happy to have it. And of course, we're definitely gonna visit our uh, item room here. Let's see what we've got over here. Ah, that might be good, actually. I, I For whatever reason, I can never remember what uh, Wrath can actually give you. Oh, he got kind of close there. I was really hoping that maybe he would have a chance to give us Mr. Mega, which is, in my estimation at least, by far the best uh, of the bomb items. Apart from, you know, literally Pyro or the fetus items, I guess. Alright, coffee time. To be honest with you, you know, I am, even if this run continues to go the way it's going, which, of course, is not amazing, uh, I think I'm going to find something to be proud of here. If we can at least beat Mom's Heart, we haven't been carried at all, and that's, I oftentimes take issue with the idea that I get carried. Uh, you know, you pick up one item at the end of the game and people go, Oh, you got carried, you got mom's knife two rooms before the blue baby. Sure, that's rarely, like, really carrying, but, uh, this run is like zero carry. There is zero fucking carry happening here. So, I mean, it's an interesting conundrum here, isn't it? What's better, the emperor card or the fool card? 99.9 .9 times, uh, well, you can't really do that in that situation, but 99 times out of a 100, the Emperor card will be better. But, because I rely so heavily on getting a deal with the Devil, I'm gonna take the Fool card, and, uh, we're gonna try to make it work. If only this had happened on the next floor, I could, you know, t use the Fool card after the Mom fight, then pick up the Emperor card and use it on the next floor, or a, a later floor at least. Picked up the Spirit Heart to give myself a better chance of getting a deal with the Devil by not losing our red hearts, and shit dude, let's make it happen. An arcade on the next floor would uh, tickle my jinglies, if you know what I'm talking about. You shouldn't, because that sentence makes no sense. Okay, so being on the depths part two is actually a huge blessing for us. If we were on Necropolis, I would not harbor uh, much hope of actually getting to that deal with the devil without taking damage. Because we're on the depths, maybe it's actually a bad thing, but hope can survive. Which normally you'd say that's great, right? And maybe it is. That other spirit heart could be so valuable. But yeah, now I've now I've got my hopes up a little bit. There's, you know, I'm Lloyd Christmas. You're saying there's a chance. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Can't open that, so we won't. We'll probably try to go back to the curse room at some point in this run. Okay, this is actually huge. So that key is really important. We're still going to use it on the shop first, as opposed to the item room. But hopefully there's just an arcade, so we'll be able to farm for keys anyway. You know, and. Fortune teller, I, I almost blew it up right away, and I'm not proud to admit that, but, um, I, it doesn't really pay out with keys very often. Mostly spirit hearts and trinkets. We'll go through this room. Ah, eh, some pennies. Um, so I, I thought about blowing it up, and maybe we'd get a key, maybe we'd get some money, you know the drill. We have the ladder, you know, might as well take advantage of it, was my philosophy. Now, we got a little bit of an advantage over these leapers versus the last ones we fought. I'm going to be able to build up some rage prior to their jumping. Good. Eyeful ooze guys. If we just stand on the opposite side of the map, 
Ooh. The knockback from Lump of Coal is really dangerous here. Not Lump of Coal, sorry. Um, the shot speed upgrade is really dangerous here, but that's okay. We took care of them. It's fine. Uh, you know, in hindsight, not hindsight, in after some thought, I think I am just going to use a bomb to uh, blow up this fortune teller. I don't even know if this would get a secret room if there was a secret room here. Let's try it, though. I'm a genius. Uh, Cursed Skull sucks, but at least we got more money here, right? And I know that this is maybe risky because we can't see what's going on here, but why not use a bomb to try this and see if this is like an item room or something? It's a demon judgment. Shit, dude, that's actually excellent. Uh, it gives us a little bit more of an out at least. I don't think demon judgment counts as taking red heart damage before mom. It's like a blood bank, right? Paid out with a tarot card, which I kind of want to pick up. He keeps pushing it away. High Priestess. That's really good. Um, we can take that with us, though, to the next floor. Makes me feel a little bit less salty about this whole Emperor business. So we can take the Fool card with us for now. Oh, man. I hate these spikes. Oh, never mind. I love these spikes. You're the best, spikes. Can't really do too much with that just yet. Okay, so this is obviously an, an important room for us. We're in this, or important corridor, if you will. We want to see the item room. Uh, no. We want to go to the shop with this key. Do I really want to fight mom with this little health? I think I can make it happen. Let's do it, and then we'll fool card out. Alright, so it's regular version of mom. There is a tinted rock here. I would love very much for that to be the small rock. So I'm waiting to use Book of Shadows. I, I really feel like, you know, it's like gratification delay here. If I, if I delay using the good item for as long as possible, there we go. Then I'll have built up a little bit of rage, and it'll actually benefit me uh, a great deal, I think. It'll benefit me proportionally more, let's put it that way. So we're about 70% of the way through Mom here. I'm not saying we're guaranteed to get a deal with the devil if we don't get hit. And I'm glad I didn't say that, because we got hit. But, we're not going to take red heart damage. Presumably we're not going to take red heart damage on this floor. Okay, well, getting a little scary. I could always teleport out of this room. Okay, we lived. And we got Squeezy, which is more Spirit Hearts. And we got the Polaroid, which we have to take with us just in case we somehow fuck ourselves into an, uh, what am I trying to say here? Like a, an I Am Error room. So we full card out. We haven't taken Red Heart damage. That's a very important, important part of this whole shebang here. Not taking Red Heart damage. That's what gives me the best chance possible, I think, of getting a, a deal with the devil. And we really desperately need those deals with the devil right now. At this point, it doesn't even have to be guppy items. I mean, I guess it never had to be guppy items, but... I, I, Jeez, man. Mom's knife, ability to fly, the pact, the mark. There's so many items that I would take, and you would be mad at me for taking, but look at our situation. Oh, no. Okay. That was a little scary. Made it work. The knockback is seriously um, a little frustrating. One golden key. That's all I ask for. Okay, well, there's another Tinted Rock here, which is nice. And that's more Spirit Hearts, which is also nice. Yeah, I had a feeling that this might happen. So that probably marks the worst series of shops I've ever had in my entire life. We ended up getting the ladder, and I think we went to four or five shops. That's, uh, that's a terrible payout. That doesn't happen all that often. Not to that degree, at least. And these golden chests are just teasing me now. But it is worth noting that if I hadn't picked up Guppy's tail, what would we have had? Well, there's some unintended consequences. We wouldn't. We would have three more Spirit Hearts, technically. Um, I don't know if I ever opened a Golden Chest. I might have opened one to get enough money, or to try to get enough money to go to the uh, shop that had notched axe in it. Um, and apart from that, I mean, I might have because oh, there's an arcade. Holy shit! I had no idea. And another Tinted Rock. Um, I may have actually gotten myself a better chance of getting a deal with the devil if I had, uh, or sorry, a deal with the angel if I had not picked up Guppy's tail, because it would have set the precedent for angel rooms. But I can't really think, go through my whole life thinking about that, can I? Kind of wish I saved Bloody Penny for now, but we have to take the Polaroid anyway, right? So my thinking is we'll just play these guys for a little while. We want to win pretty much everything that they have. More keys, more bombs. Justice tarot card is beautiful here. Very good. And we really want the HP upgrade. And we really want whatever Demon Judgment is going to give us. Those are both so important right here. Alright. So we've got almost full health. What I'm going to do 
is we're gonna play Demon Judgment, and we want to get down into this, like, I shouldn't have picked up the HP, because really, the more time that we can have permanent Polaroid invincibility, the better. Sorry, I was distracted for a second there. Keep this up here. So yeah, the more time that we can be in this period, the better our life will be. So we get Horror Babylon, which actually kind of sucks. As far as deal with the devil items go, this is pretty bad. For us, if we ever uh, end up in a position where we have more HP than... Or sorry, where we have less HP than this would be good if we get Guppy's... Guppy's uh, paw all of a sudden becomes like one of the best items for us in the game, if it, if it wasn't already, because of the spirit hearts that it gives us, uh, and the fact that we could be in permanent horror Babylon state and have permanent Polaroid invincibility. There's lots of good stuff happening there. Come on, red hearts, red hearts. We can open up our item room now as well, uh, and I I would like to, but let's gamble a little bit more first. What is this? Empress. Pretty good. Probably better than high priestess. Hmm. All right, so that was not what I meant to happen, but we did get a brief window of permanent Polaroid invincibility and found out that there's merely the um, IV bag here, which is super unfortunate. So we'll just be uh, leaving probably because I don't—I really don't like gambling if I don't have the option to at least get uh, the blood bag. That's what I was. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say that's what I was hoping for, and it pretty much was. Um, being able to get that golden key means a lot of golden chests are gonna be opened right now. First one, key and a bomb, so we gain nothing from that one. That's okay, we have our item room. Item room has ghost baby, it's fine. We can now take inventory of all of our item rooms, can't we? We got uh, demon baby, ghost baby, book of shadows, game kid, doctor's remote, tarot cards. That is uh, not something that you would probably be excited to tell people about, if I had to guess. Range upgrade. I'm fine with it. I, I know this will ruin Horror Babylon, but I'm gonna take it anyway. We need the HP, I think. There's probably no way around that. Uh, our curse rooms now officially have paid out with two spirit hearts, except, uh, or all times it paid out with spiders or bombs, except for one time when it gave me two spirit hearts. That was the worst way to phrase that. Uh, a speed upgrade, we actually can use that. And another bomb and key, which this time was pure profit. And finally, Okay, another key. So we gained three or four keys, I think, as a result of uh, as a result of that golden key. That's good enough to keep us, you know, hopeful about our key situation moving on. But shit, man, this is not looking so hot. This deal with the devil after the mom fight would be so, so fucking important. Alrighty then, down to the next floor it is. Thank God it's not an XL floor. You know what I'm gonna say. We could possibly get a deal with the devil on this floor, and uh, at this point, fuck becoming Guppy. It's very, very unlikely, you have to admit. Uh, so this Temperance card, we should be able to get some use out of with Book of Shadow. And we should be able to at least have a crack at getting the blood bag, knowing that the IV bag was in the last one. But anyway, um, ooh, what the heck, he deflected there. That was weird. That's, we didn't get hit, but still. Um, fuck this room. Fuck this room. Come on, demon baby. Work with me here, buddy. Take some shots. And, you know, as much as I love the idea of playing this blood bank, uh, just surviving and not losing spirit hearts is a big part of my overall strategy as well. I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Wow, fuck it, we're not using the temperance card on this floor then. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. Because we haven't taken red heart damage, we haven't taken any damage, and our deal with the devil here is so important. But yes, fuck becoming Guppy, just give me Guppy's paw. If I get, oh yeah. Uh, if I get Guppy's paw, all of a sudden, Horror Babylon, and we'd have, what, we have four and a half plus nine, 13 and a half spirit hearts, plus permanent Polaroid invincibility. It's, you know, Lloyd Christmas, so you're saying there's a chance. Let's come down here, Utero 1, who's our boss? It's Conquest. Fuck. By far, my least favorite boss to fight at this point of the game. Maybe my least favorite boss over the course of the entire game, to be honest with you. Conquest is basically just a straight up dickwad. And unfortunately, because I used the uh, Empress card two rooms ago, I actually, or sorry, not the Empress card, the Book of Shadows, I actually don't have it built up. Yep, there we go. I don't have it built up right now, and I really, really don't want to use the Empress card on Conquest. 
you can understand why, I'm sure. Yep, there we go. Just, conquest is the fucking spirit heart color. Not C-O-L-O, optional U-R, but like C-U-L-L, uh, E-R. Conquest will just take the spirit hearts that you don't value and, and turn them into despair. I shouldn't die to him, at least. My odds of getting a deal with the devil are gonna... Okay, you know what? We have to. Um, the odds of getting a deal with the devil, though, are gonna decrease drastically. I hate doing it. I guess we're taking our temperance card to the next floor. Lucky me. Hey, guys, I brought my temperance card to the apocalypse. Anybody want to give me some of their blood? No? Okay. Alright, don't get hit. We lived. There's our deal with the devil. That's a funny joke about deals with the devil that don't exist in this game. And, uh, yeah. Do we really want White Pony? Fudge, no. I guess I just blow up the Temperance. I, I can take this down to the chest and blow it up, I guess. We're fucked. We are. Just get used to it. We're gonna beat Mom's heart. Presumably. We should beat Mom's heart, anyway. Let's put it that way. Um, I don't know if we're going to, but we should. And we really just, you know... Sometimes cause of death is like catastrophic organ failure. That's really how I feel about this run. Why did we lose this run if we're doing like an autopsy? Well, we haven't lost it yet, but why are we gonna lose this run if it continues the way it's continuing? Fucking catastrophic everything failure, basically. Not enough HP, not enough damage. Very, very poor RNG. Um, and maybe some poor play thrown in, some, some not so fantastic decision making, I guess, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to admit that as, as much as the next guy is. So I think this might be a very small way out for us. Just play this shit like crazy and hope that you get a IV bag as a result. Um, or sorry, a blood bag. I don't want an IV bag. But if we can get two of the... Uh, did I lose my spirit heart in the process here? I think I did. That's fine. We can at least, you know be more conscious of where our health is, though. Alright, that's what I wanted right there. And... There we go. We'll get into permanent Polaroid invincibility again. If I can get both of these to pay out, I may actually have a small chance of, uh, making my dream of not dying on this run a reality. 5 HP and 2 speed upgrades. It could work. It This could kill me itself, but if it does, uh, we were on a ticking clock anyway, weren't we? Pretty Fly is, I, I'm, if nothing else, I'm glad I came down here for Pretty Fly. You're gonna give me fucking Fly love? I really appreciate that, but I need, uh, I need Red Hearts more than anything else. Okay, two Orbitals is actually crazy good. Unfortunately, they don't do damage, so with Book of Shadows, they're not gonna help me out. But, they do keep me from taking shots, which is incredibly important. We need at least a little bit more HP, otherwise, effectively, we're going out there with a Half Heart, and one hit will just kill us. Work with me here. I, I can't afford to stay here forever. I got things to do in my life. Theoretically. It's never stopped me before, I guess. Just keep it going here. What do you have? Bombs are key. Doesn't really help me out. It's okay. There we go. Oh, it's a spirit heart. That doesn't help me at well, I mean it helps me, but it's not what I want at all. I can't keep doing this. Please, just work with me. A single half red heart. Oh, thank God. Saves me so much in the way of heartache right here. Oh, yes! Okay. Now, here's the question. Do I really... W Never mind. We did it. Okay. That turned out to be a pretty uh, shrewd decision, I'd say. Now, we're fast. We're still pretty weak, but at least we have some HP. We're actually too fast, but that's that's a problem that I'll deal with. Now, I don't think that's going to give us the win, but it certainly does improve our chances. We also got Fly Love in there. Maybe you value Fly Love more than I do. I don't value it very much. Doesn't mean it's awful. It, it can be helpful for, for some rooms and bosses. That was dumb. There goes our Spirit Heart. That's the other thing. We, we still can't afford to take damage. Not at all, but like, we can take a little bit of damage. We just really have to mitigate it as much as possible. Um, library. With the amount of keys that we have, I feel like it's okay to open the library. 
I hope you agree. Maybe we'll get uh, Book of Sin or something in there. Okay, that's obviously awful. So, this is something that I've been doing some thinking about. Is Book of Belial better than Book of Shadows in this situation? We already got our spirit art from Book of Revelations. Um, I think you could make a case for both Book of Shadows and Book of Belial. I really, really like Book of Shadows as a Samson right now. I really, really like Book of Belial as Samson in general, but I, I really, really like Book of Shadows for Samson right now because it gives me time to actually build rage, which in its own way is kind of like an invincibility plus Book of Belial type thing. You get the damage from, you know, the rage buildup, which approximates Book of Belial, and then Book of Shadows gives you um, the invincibility, of course. So I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a tall question. We can use them both with the same frequency. We would be doing a lot of damage, and we do have a great rate of fire. If we could just pick up. Maybe we, you know what, I think I'm gonna go, uh, I think Book of Belial is gonna benefit, like using Book of Belial once on a boss fight like Isaac is gonna benefit me more than using Book of Shadows once on a boss fight like Isaac. So, I think having that damage throughout the entire fight gives me uh, an adequate reason to pick that up. I'm glad I, t I stopped and thought about that because uh, I, I've loved Book of Shadows so far, it's really helped me out, but when you consider the effects of, uh, like, the, the way it'll work on late-game boss fights, I think it's much better to have, you know, 60 seconds of high damage than, you know, 15 seconds of invincibility. Yeah, okay, I feel good about that logic. Alright, don't take damage walking across here. Every HP you get at this point, I mean, you don't want to be stacking up HP through the first row this late in the game, but we, we don't have a choice, really. So anything that Judgment sees fit to give us, I'm going to take. Compass would be so good. HP would be fine. Nun's Habit would be beautiful. HP is fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, I know there's a key there. How could I miss it? Um, and I, I want to pick it up, but at the same time, I, don't, I really don't want to walk on those spikes or put myself in harm's way. So I'm probably just going to leave that on the ground. We're probably not going to end up needing an eighth key. It's possible that we would. We probably won't, though. All right, good dodge, good dodge. Just good foresight to stay back here. And, oh, that was a really dumb way to take damage. I don't see red hearts on the ground here, so we'll just fight mom's heart. It's not like we're trying to earn a deal with the devil or anything. All right, well, we've improved our chances way more on this floor than you would expect from the average, uh, you know, utero two, where there's no items at all, usually, so. I feel pretty okay about that. That Temperance card that we got on the last floor actually ended up paying dividends here. And you know what? That's pretty solid damage from, you know, high range lump of coal, plus uh, one bomb, plus our rate of fire, plus Book of Belial. You know, we are using a lot of bombs here, but that's okay. It's getting the job done. That's the most important part. Permanent bombs from Mom's Heart already. That was a textbook Mom's Heart fight. And we're good. Yeah, that, and we get to a half heart interval as well. That was fine. So we beat Mom's Heart. I'm reasonably proud of this run. Let's caffeinate a little bit. But let's get prouder, shall we? Let's try. Now, the real question on this uh, floor is how do we beat Isaac? Is there any chance we beat Isaac? Well, the two pretty flies are going to be indisposable. As is Book of Belial, as is the extra HP that we have. But it would really go a long fucking way if. Oh, no! It would really go a long way if I could pick up uh, a single good pillar tarot card. Even the lovers would be fine, if not ideal. But uh, yeah, if I could get like a sun or a full health pill, I'll open it. It was worth it, obviously. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's basically what I'm reliant on at this point. There is a small chance that without any outside help, I think we could beat Isaac. We would have to require some pretty solid dodging, no question about it gonna try to put a bomb here. It'll open up the arena, but also there's a tinted rock there. Okay, how many sickles can you put on the screen at the same time? So ideally, I'm not actually gonna pick up these spirit hearts until we actually fight Isaac. I don't have too much of a choice in the matter. If, um, if we end up getting down to a half heart, then I have to pick these up. Oh, that was dangerous. Yeah, it's just, there's no two ways about it, unfortunately. So I'm gonna put another bomb down here, again, just to open up the, the fighting arena a little bit. We're not necessarily gonna use bombs against Isaac anyway. We could, and probably should, but we may not. Uh, okay. I didn't expect to get hit there anyway, but I'm glad that it was kind of settled for me. 
and a pill. Could be anything. That's fine. I didn't want to take it at first just in case it was like, um, you know, full health. But I, I figured I would take it just to know. Because then if I get it again, I can use it in a more appropriate situation. Rather than like, oh, well, I brought this pill into the boss fight. Let's see what it is. And, oh, it's bad gas and I'm dead. You know, knowing is half the battle. That's what they always say. I don't know who they is, but, the, you know, people talk about them all the time. So they must be relatively intelligent. Probably some kind of military strategist or something like that based on the diction, I would say. Oh, okay. That was a little scary. We are one hit away from having to pick up those spirit hearts. And that's something that I really, really do not want to do. Oh, okay. Thumbtack. Terrible. Absolutely awful. All right. Library. With the amount of keys that we have, I mean, we've already seen every good book. We might be able to get a Book of Sin for some extra HP, and that's why I'm going to open it. Apart from that, it's just maybe we'll get super lucky and there will be just a double item room in there or something. We haven't seen, like, Monster Manuel or Celebrity for Dummies, though. Oh, there we go. That's that's the red heart I needed. I will still check it out. Uh, it's awful, obviously. I have to pick them up just in case we actually do survive. Um, I need to make sure that those items are out of the pool because we can't reroll the shit that we get on the chest, so... All right, uh, it's war. We're fast enough to kill war for sure, but... Oh, I thought those would be troll bombs. No such luck. Um, I figured it's worth using Book of Belial to fight war anyway. Those are troll bombs. We're certainly fast enough to get away, but why not kill uh, war as quickly as possible, right? Especially with Lump of Coal, these shots are going to be pretty ruthless. And the slow from Gish. That slow from Gish is going to be so important for the uh, boss fight as well. Well, that's that then. We are a little bit closer to being ready f to meet our maker. I really did not expect to live as long as we did. Uh, truth be told, I was already, um, by the time that we got to like the catacombs part one and still had not gotten any HP, I was kind of like, not wishing that we would die, but I was like, okay, let's, let's start planning for the next run. Like, what am I going to do differently? Uh, and the answer would be the hope for better items and item rooms, I guess, based on our situation. Um, so I think I would be an idiot. I'm invested in this run now, so I think I would be an idiot if I didn't at least look into that uh, into that fortune teller situation. There we go. Wanted to blow up that rock. The bomb fly is not that painful for me because they're uh, affected by fly love. Um, yeah, we, we got to play that fortune teller. I don't give a shit about trinkets at this point unless... And I can't even imagine what we would have to get, but... Um, oh. Let's see. Just there's Kate streaming Necro Dancer outside of my room, and I heard a bunch of yelling, and I was like, "Oh, are we being robbed?" No, nope. turns out uh, just a monster killed her. It happens. Um, but I'd like to find the boss before uh, before I uh, do that fortune teller stuff, because again, those spirit hearts, I want to take them all at the end. Same for this one, which we'll get right here. And I know there's golden chests. I don't really feel comfortable opening them because we only have four keys. And I'm starting to think that maybe we have a genuine chance of actually making it. Which is super fucking hilarious, actually. We probably should not have made it as far as we have. I gotta open one of these, right? I have to. Sure, that gave me another key. And every time, as long as I keep getting a key when I open these, I'm gonna keep opening them. And we got another key back from that one. Alright, so there's another golden chest back here, but we want to play this bad boy. Don't step on it. Truth be told, there actually is probably a case to be made for stepping on it, because you could get to permanent polar invincibility state and whore of Babylon state. And then pick up more spirit hearts to back yourself up. Shit, is that actually the right idea? Okay, well, let's see what that is first. Oh, okay. The moon. Secret room. Let's pop it. Okay, that's just money. And no key. Oh, there's our key. Okay. All's forgiven. We don't want to take bombs or key. Maybe we did, actually. It's okay. It worked out. Two of hearts. Okay, so now we probably definitely don't want to do what I suggested that we just do and get down to Horror Babylon, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Let's just give ourselves the best chance possible of getting through this fight. I don't really care about the, um, the bombs or key pill. That doesn't bother me at all. So I can leave that. I gotta... I hate, I hate to do this, but there was just too many trinkets there for me to keep doing what I was doing. We need the Two of Hearts card. I need to go back in there. Yeah, there was, there was just too much shit around. How do I... I need the Polaroid. Okay, well, you know what we do? 
I'm sorry, but we're gonna pop bombs or key. There we go. That just took it out of the rotation. We're, so we could make sure that we carry two of hearts out. And we will use two of hearts. I haven't quite figured out how yet. But we need to get our spirit hearts. I might just use it immediately to put ourselves at full HP. We're nearly full HP. Let's be realistic here. No need to lie about it. Sure, that'll do it. Okay, so I should have kept bombs or key, I guess, but... I didn't. I don't really care how many keys and bombs we have. I'm gonna be using almost exclusively tears to get through the fight anyway. So this is interesting. We do have a shot. We really do. Uh, I didn't think we would, but we do. We should be able to beat Isaac, actually. Now, it actually makes a lot of sense to carry a Curved Horn into the boss fight instead of the Polaroid. We've got to min-max a little bit here. That gives us a little bit of extra damage that could make all the difference. Just don't forget to... Wait a minute, did I fuck myself? I don't think I fucked myself. I think you can take the wrong trinket into the fight. Right? If I actually... There's got to be some way that I can make myself go down to the next floor. In spite of that. I might be a little bit of an idiot. But you can understand my logic at a cursory glance. It's like, why take the Polaroid? The Polaroid's not gonna help me. I should take high damage instead. Well, let's... Well, we are gonna live through this fight. I was gonna say, let's just make sure we live through this fight to see if it matters in the first place. And then we'll, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. No need to get mired up in uh, hypotheticals, right? Okay. Be cool here. Uh, taking damage, of course. That's not unexpected. We're finally gonna get a chance to build rage once the angel fetuses show up, just in time for the fight to be completely over to begin with. Kind of a sloppy Isaac fight, um, but, you know, is heavyweight knockout here, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We're gonna get back to a half-heart interval. So let me go back and pick up the Polaroid. I think we're fine. Maybe I've made a terrible mistake? Certainly don't want... Oh, no. That's bad damage. That was almost bad damage as well. Okay. Right, down, down. Yeah, okay, it worked. I'm not a total idiot. Forget me now. Um, weirdly enough, since these items are, are absolutely awful, forget me now doesn't seem like that bad of an idea, but it is a bad idea. We need this, probably. It is a bad idea, because in order to use Forget Me Now, we have to get rid of Book of Belial. So I would say this is um, possibly one of the worst... Oh, fuck. One of the worst series of chest items I've ever had. I'll, go, I'll come out and say it, that I think this is one of the worst uh, item generations when it comes to RNG that we've ever had in our entire Isaac career. We've gotten lucky in some respects, but certainly, you know, item rooms and shops and boss rooms and deals with the devil were not one of them. Now, there is still a chance. It's smaller than it even used to be. We need some carry items. We certainly don't need a speed upgrade. We need HP to drop as well. Like crazy, ideally. Um, okay. Ten bombs, that's something. Oh, watch out for pestilence. We gotta choose where to use our... Um, where to use our Book of Belial effectively. I don't know if it's effective on this room, which is funny because on the last floor, a single champion war was totally worth using a Book of Belial, whereas on this floor, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. In a way, I hate to say this because people always think less of you for saying it, but I've kind of resigned myself to my fate. You know, you can only push yourself so hard if the game doesn't want you to win. And there you go. I tried. As always, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed the run. I really did do my damnedest there. If we had just gotten, like, maybe one damage item, I think we would have done it easily. But we were just on the borderline as is. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and, uh... I'll see you next time. Goodbye.